Hello my soccer universe to part two of the World Cup jersey review. It is really not that easy to get these in uh, with so little time, but we're gonna get it all done. We're gonna get it all done. Um, I'm gonna probably use this weekend day now to shoot a couple and then um, uh, space them out over the next week. We're talking Group B, a very interesting group uh, for me because A, the US is a country that I've stayed for 10 years. So uh, of course I'm gonna wear uh, their jersey. But you know, it's basically the, all the English speaking, main English speaking countries are in there with Wales and England as well. And then we have Iran who are probably the team of all the um, uh, countries where it will be the hardest to get a jersey because they are fabricated in Iran and with all the embargoes it will be really 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 hard. It's definitely an eclectic group but are the jerseys any good in there? Well we'll see about that. So the way I'm going about this I'm gonna put them in the order as they're seated within the group so we'll start England first then Iran and so on and so forth. Um, you'll get a rating between 1 and 10 where 10 is the highest and 1 is the lowest grade. And I would say we'll go straight in and we'll start with the big boys. England here with the new Nike home jersey. Boy, I'm not sure about what to say about that one. First off, uh, clearly 96 vibes there because those are the colors from the 96 jersey. I, I think the best thing about this England kit are the colors. However, the gradient on the shoulder completely does not sit well with me. That's the one thing that just does not work. I really love the color com 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 combination, but I really think that having the dark up top does not fit with England. I actually think what they should have done, that's not my personal opinion, but I've, I've seen a mock-up and it, it actually looks really better. Reverse the gradient. Have the white on top and then go off the shoulder yokes into the sleeves that are kind of blue with this gradient and then use the color from the sleeve, use the colors from the sleeve because for the color. I actually think there you you could be on to some, so something or, you know, um, it would not be a bad thing to just let go of the gradient and give us a normal England shirt. This one, I gotta say, is a little bit hard to take. Uh, yes, I understand you gotta be a little bit out there and you cannot always do the same things. However, I am not a big fan of this England shirt, to say the least. And for that reason, this is only a three star. I really cannot get used to that one. However, the away jersey uh, is just brilliant. Uh, I get an Italian 90 vibes from that one, although then I think they never wore the red one in Italian 90. But this is an awesome retro shirt. Now, we can discuss, does the England crest need to have this light blue backing? Maybe, maybe not, but I actually think it looks all very well put together. This is an excellent, awesome shirt. I cannot, I love every little bit about it. Yes, maybe the light blue if this is white, but I, I, I actually think it fits very well in with the color and it gives it a slightly more retro feel. Um, no denying, this gotta be a 10 star. Uh, there, there is not much that I could uh, um, make better there. Going over to Iran, uh, whose kits are made by, I think Majid is the company, and they released some earlier this year, and then for the World Cup they came out with these. First of all, I'm very pleased that we again get the um, uh, Iranian cheetah, Persian cheetah uh, pattern in form of the sleeves there. The jersey itself, I gotta say, is, uh, I mean, on one side, average, it is, a, it is maybe it has even a slightly cheap feel, but overall, I have to say, this is really well put together. Um, I love the sleeves, the body is rather plain, but then there is also a little bit the Iranian flag in there with the um, sleeve cuffs. I wonder, couldn't you go all the way around? Maybe that, that's the one thing, but to be honest, this is, it is a pretty decent effort uh, and is not out of place and is probably one of the better jerseys in this group. I really got to like say. Um, the cheetah pattern really puts it a little bit higher for, 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 for me. I'm not struggling. Uh, I'm in between six or seven. I actually want to go seven with this one. I, I actually really don't mind, mind this one. It has something special in there. The away jersey uh, does the same thing in red. For some reason, I like the white one better. For some reason, I like the white one better. Uh, so maybe this is where I go. It's otherwise, it's exactly the same jersey. It just flips, uh, or you know, 
takes out the white and we put red in in it as leaf cuffs are the same the pattern on the shoulders is the same uh but just feeling wise for me this is a six star jersey and we are at the team that i'm wearing the us boy boy <laughs> Everything that you can do bad is done bad in this jersey. Again, like with England, what I love about the US home jersey, and I know I'm probably in the minority, but I always like the white jersey with the navy accents. I really love this, this, this one. I even like, I mean, this to me is the uh, perfect US jer uh, jersey. They even adjusted the crest and it looks a little bit like this, but give me the stars in the crest. Or use this crest just, but I think there are some copyright uh, copyright things that why you cannot use this. So those are the good things. However, uh, this this jersey is so all over the place. First off, you cannot win points with me if you highlight patches that don't need to be highlighted, like this trapezoid here. Doesn't make any sense. So this already puts it down a notch for me, a big notch. I mean, we are going from uh, to down to five. And then uh, all the ideas that they put in. First of all, the Nike swoosh is on the sleeves. I do not mind this per se because it opens up the space, but it also makes it look a little bit like a knockoff. So this is something to get, get, get used to. Then these stripes here are supposedly to uh, remind us that, you know, American football is played. In America so this is very much an American football look it doesn't look right and then why is the crest so centered and so big because it's a basketball jersey give me a break decide on something this is just a cluster mess it's absolutely I mean uh, from the coloring of patches that don't need to be colored by throwing in all kinds of ideas you know a soccer jersey that uh, it's a mixture between a basketball and the American football jersey doesn't sit really well with me Again, the placing of the swooshes is something that we have to get used to maybe overall and it might be something that Nike might go for because honestly, I think it allows for a whole lot more uh, freedom what you do on the jersey. I have a um, centralized crest. Okay, it still doesn't feel right to me. This one, I think the, the only good point is the color combination, great. If this one had a normal crew neck, I actually think I would give this much higher, but this boomerang there is definitely the, the, the thing that puts it down. This is a two star. It's, it's a really awful, awful shirt. And most of the players don't like it either. And to, to, to be honest, the away jersey doesn't endear itself to me either. <laughs> okay, you have a, a kind of a hippie jersey, but what else does this have to do with America? And going back quickly to the home, 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 home jersey, I think most fans would like to have the Waldo shirt where, you know, with the red and white uh, hoops. And I've seen mock-ups that might look better. And I think you could have done something here too. I really regret the US not qualifying for 2008 because they had some interesting shirts there. These are just, I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, yes, dark blue, okay. But all the, I mean, it looks like an ink accident uh, happened there. Doesn't do it for me. For you gotta deliver something better, which is in a way what Adidas did for Wales. I mean, say what, say what, what you want a home shirt. Maybe it looks a little bit plain at first, but it has some really nice features. A, it restrains from uh, coloring the patches on the back, so you have just the outline on on the side, which makes it really look nice. Then you have just the color in green. The pattern, while nothing special, actually adds some interest to the, to the jersey. It's not a flashy Wales shirt by any means. However, it actually looks really, really nice in play. And the green accents with the white, I have got to give it to them. They did something really interesting and nice there. I'm going to also go with this for seven stars. And then, uh, rather so surprisingly, uh, the away jersey is actually the one that I like best in here. And it's, yes, it is plain. And yes, it has even the patches color, but it uses the exact same pattern from the color, which does something to me. I actually find this re and a really interesting shirt balancing out the nation's colors and, and so on quite, quite, quite well. Um, cannot say I, I'm ca ca complaining much about it. It doesn't really elevate it much over the home jersey, but um, of all the jerseys that are in this group, 
outside of the England away jersey, <laughs> which I almost forgot because I don't think it will be used. Uh, this is a really nice one. I'm also gonna give this seven and we are done with this group here. Uh, which jerseys do you like in here? I know I have to say it's a rather tough group and the best churches will probably be not be worn at this World Cup, which really, really sucks. Any case, uh, let me know your thoughts below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.